Hello Taurus and welcome. This is going to be your Heart of the Matter reading for Lionsgate 8-8-2020, which is tomorrow. And it's interesting, it's, it's raining right now, but it's kind of a pleasant warm rain. And, ooh, there goes our card, just a minute. Right into the puddle. Well, not actually the puddle. You know what, maybe, is that a part of this Taurus? I have Taurus rising in Vedic. A little bit of light exaggeration, right? But I'm also hearing the song, uh, Have You Seen the Rain? Now the cards, interesting Taurus. So, okay, so the heart of the matter reading is to help you figure out where you can stand in your personal power better or where you might be leaking energy and making it so you're not standing in your personal power. The cards that jumped out onto the wet ground that was not a puddle, is the Three of Cups and the Strength card. Which means that this the, this Leo energy coming in is really... It's going to be really beneficial to you. But it also tells me that there are places that you are afraid to be strong and courageous when it comes to your friendships and really significant relationships, and that also you're a little afraid to let yourself really be playful. You probably spend far too much time working on taming your impulses and not being the, the bully, the, the bull, uh, as much as people peg you to be. But that is preventing the real healing that you want, and it's stealing away your sunshine. Let's steal my sunshine. Yeah, and it's affecting home issues, too. Um, and also, if you're in a twin flame dynamic, it is affecting your partner, because you, you reflect each other even more uh, in that state. Yeah, you know, it... Uh, look at where you are giving yourself um, to too many, like third-party situations, which is third, fourth, fifth, sixth, you know, and, and this can be um, living dynamics, roommate dynamics, things like that. If you have strong Taurus placements, you typically tend to live in more of a community of some kind, or you are, you are regularly interactive with it. And also, stop and think about what you do just for fun. Taurus is that we tend to be the workhorses, and Capricorns and Virgos also, but Tauruses tend to socially be always working. Like, I'm doing this for my kids, I'm doing this for the house, I'm doing this for my partner, I'm doing this for my roommate, I'm doing this for my mom, I'm doing this for my whoever, 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 whoever. And you end up running yourself ragged, attempting to make it look like, like it's always strong and it's always fun, when you're not really having that much fun, at least not in your head, and then that and that reflects. So, Taurus, what I'm getting a sense of for you, the heart of the matter that is most available to be worked on during this Lionsgate energy is where where are you being too strong? Where are you not being strong enough? And how are you how are you being playful? amongst all the things that you do and refilling your your own cup also where are you where is your emotional cup being refilled when it comes to relationships and friendships romantic relationships things like that and um, spend more time with people that that don't leave you feeling exhausted afterwards because then all of your gardens will grow see down there all right taurus if you have any questions or would like a personal reading, I leave my email in the description box below. See you next time.